Welcome back to Paper Mario. I was gonna say that, but then you said it. What more kind of def oh, what more kind of saying do you need? I don't know. But now I'm confused. I was beating up sushi because I was hungry. Mmm. Okay, so what are we doing? The most inappropriately named character. Really, it sorta is. Anyway, we're going to Flower Fields now, and we need to find a way there. So let's ask the person in charge of the garden. Maybe she knows about flowers. <gasps> she did say that these babalbs come from flower fields. And she did say it in red text. Hey, we have four kind of seeds. Yeah, you know, we've been collecting them all game. You could give it to her beforehand, one by one, but mm. I just prefer to usually have them all on hand just to give it to her. And of course, she's telling you just in case. It's like... Go to the old guy, and he'll give you that stuff. Wow! Wow. And she, like, plants it, and she... She plants it all happy-like, too. <laughs> wow! Thank you so much! <laughs> she, like, literally dances to make her flowers <laughs> grow. Okay, I'm actually really gonna have to pay attention to this. Wow! Man, that is some that is some planting. <laughs> Let me tell ya. It's also fast growing seeds. I mean they go from seed to fully grown flower and blooming as they like that. Well maybe these bulb orbs are just special that way. Probably. Man, that lady. <gasps> What's happening? Oh, I always like how the flowers just float out. <laughs> yeah! Oh man, she's excited! Uh, it is the Mushroom Kingdom. I'm pretty sure if you accidentally planted like Rutabaga, you'd somehow make a door appear out of nowhere. But that's it. That's, that's our entrance to Flower Field. So that means you're going to finish your thought first before we enter. I'm going to say, it's not when you plant the rutabaga, it's when you pull it up, and then sometimes it's a potion. Ah. Wow, you're going for... Just... Anyway, we're going into the next chapter now. I'm just going to let you sit on that one for a while. <laughs> chapter 6. The Dark Days. In the flower fields. That guy looks alright. He's gonna be a fun one. I don't think much will top the uh, chapter 5 boss, though. <laughs> what ho! I knew, at the moment I saw that, I was like, ah, oh, crap, he's gonna say it, isn't he? Oh! I am, I am surprised. Oh, it's a tree. Fuck it. I'm, I'm done. Done. It's like, there's a fucking talking tree in here. Everybody knows I hate tree. Uh, talking trees. Maybe one day I'll explain that, but not today. There's not really much complicated. By the way, guys, this is a reference to the Great Deku Tree from Ocarina of Time. Everybody bitch at Nintendo for referencing their own different stuff. Or, you know, a lot of games have talking trees. Kirby has a talking tree. I fucking blame Shakespeare. Like, talking trees... I think it's funny because everyone says like, oh, they're being so self-referential. Everything they're doing is so generic. I find it hard to believe it's self-referential. Maybe it's because it's so uh, because Nintendo can be generic and it's self-referential is. Like, oh man, it's a star rod. No, that's a reference to this. No, it's a star on a rod. What do you, what were they gonna call it? Considering the basic idea of Mario is stars at some point or another. We took a power star and stuck it on a rod. That doesn't make it a reference. That makes it a star rod. I, I had to stop your, uh, their little rant there. You yeah, I need, realize, to, I, I need to not be angry. It's this like, is... you do realize the boss of this place is called Huff and Puff. Yeah. The Cloudy Climb. Well, at least we're told right off who the dude is that we gotta go beat up. But of course, we gotta find all the stuff to actually get up there. Man. 
I think so some more. people said that the, uh... Petunia. It makes sense when you see all the ref or, uh, residents of the area, so... Mm. Uh, I think some people said that it's like, Oh, if you hate the backtracking in Shy Guys, you're gonna hate it in Flower Fields. And I was like, I don't know. Flower Fields, to me, didn't feel that bad. Comparatively. I think the idea... I think it's because it's more self-contained in its backtracking. By the way, this sucker's a liar. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't look very trustworthy. Not exactly. Yeah, Petunia is straight west from here. Yep. West. West. Absolutely positive. Not lying at all. Yeah, he's a complete liar. So let's go. This is east, right? I think that's east, yeah. That better be east. Oh no, we've hit a door. Oh no, whatever will we do? We can't continue through this gate because this guy wants something blue to eat. Despite that we can destroy giant iron blocks that are made of purple, we can't hit that door. I could knock that door down, come on! Uh, I got that shit items, I gotta get I gotta rest the wall. I can't really restock, I got I got no money. Spending it all on badges. But anyway, say... we gotta go find Petunia real quick. Also, if you ever need to head back to Mushroom Kingdom, you can just go through his door and you can rest up there. Yeah. I think it's the other thing I kind of liked about this chapter. Also, the Bavolves are dancing here. I wonder if these are the ones that gave us the seeds, because they have the colors of them. Hmm. Dancing, dancing. Anyway, we gotta go find Petunia. I think one of the and reasons... can't go that way. Ooh, daisies. There's an herb there. There's Stanky. A... There's a date. Okay. For some reason, I almost wanted to use this one as to autocorrect the camera. I was like, no, this is Paper Mario. There's no autocorrecting the camera. Yeah, what camera? <laughs> I want to say one reason I don't think the backtracking would be as bad here as well is... Boo! Oh, missed. Well, it's sort of the self-containedness. By the way, these are crazy daisies. They can put you to sleep. Kind of an honor. Kind of can, it kind of can be annoying. There is one in here Better fly. called the Amazy Daisy. It's got like 20 HP, and it can sing and hurt you. But it's also the metal slime of this game. If you beat it, you get like a buttload of HP, uh, XP, and everything. I remember, I remember reading that it was the only way, like killing the Amazy Daisy, is the only way to hit the level cap. Like, it's the only thing that gives you enough experience that by the end of the game, you're still getting experience. Happy! Oh yeah, I put the Happy Heart badge on for regen purposes. So yeah, we get to see what that does. But yeah, I don't think the backtracking in this chapter would ah, be... Ah, oh, then. Oh. And... That's sort of because we aren't going as far off course. It'd be like... Hold on, do you hear snoring? I thought I heard snoring there for a second. I don't. Do you want to finish your thought before this daisy attacks us? Just attack the daisy. Okay. You, you got this thought you want it out so badly. By the by, daisies can run, so, you know, kill them, kill them fast. But you're not seeing too much that... You're not re revisiting something that you've seen too much of. Whoa! Ooh, actually, we can use that honey syrup, so... If you go through a new area, if it functions at all like the um, Shy Guy's toy box, it's... I imagine you go through an area, get something at the end of it, and then you just run back through that area, back to the little hub area, and then go into a new area. That music's not so good. And that's like, that's not that bad, because you just have to keep coming back to that little hub area, then go to a new area from that hub area. Whereas, like in Shy Guy's Toy Box, you have to... It'd be like in going back to that rail system, and then just... going down a different path, instead of having to take the rail back to the beginning, and then running around in town for half an hour. Every time. Woe is me! I 
I look strong and capable, but you look angry, and that is not a face that makes me enthusiastic about helping. Well, kind of upset because her roots are being eaten by these this guys. This guy. And this jerk. And this troublemaker. Sticking his tongue out. And that flasher. And this wicked creature. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you probably don't need to be concerned about that one. Oh, well, now I have to beat him up. I, I, I wanted, I wanted the flower to say that, and then the the um, Daisy just kind of looked dejected, like, really? Oh. <sighs> that ought to learn you for being around here in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, let's beat up. Yeah, a now let's actually like worry about this important things. Ooh, there's a thing there. It's a mole. Wow, just one. Got a lot of HP. Yeah, I took off three, so that's like what, 11 HP? Yeah, but we got a brand no, new that's hammer. 12 HP. So. Well, we got a new hammer and we can do a crap ton of damage a turn, so I'll follow y'all. <laughs> We're like inching closer and closer to a level up. One day. Oh, now that we have a hammer, we can uh, do that. We can just do that whenever we want. Didn't mean that to happen, but whatever. Also, we uh, switched to Lady Bow because Sushi wasn't quite cutting it anymore. Also, since we leveled up, um, um, we also took off the little like, um, star th shard thing radar. No, we didn't. Yeah, we did. We took that one off because we figured it was actually going to be. No, gonna we didn't. Yeah, we did. Wait, we did something. We did that, though, just because um, we figured it would be more efficient to put on a better badge, which was the one healing badge. So, right there, you just took off the FP plus badge. And the healing badge. And the healing badge. So we now have a uh, defense. Defense. Defend plus, so yeah. we actually have a defense point. And now, on. next time we level up, we can take off the HP plus badge. And put on something new. And we can put that uh, one regen thing again. Fuck you guys, we're gonna go watch Running the Warriors. Yeah, you know what? Heck with us. Done playing this game, I'm gonna go watch Running the Warriors. What the fuck? It's like you hit him, but you didn't. It's like playing whack a mole. Except I get no prize at the end. Oh. I was. Ah, oh, come on, you totally hit him. Whatever. Who is your favorite Running Warrior? I don't know, I'm always a fan of like the main character, really. I like Sage, the green one, because mm. he was green. Also, it was, it was right. also, his ability was pretty ki uh, bitchin'. Hmm. Like, I just you guys even... have no fucking reason why we did that, and I'm not gonna bring it up why. Like, I tend to, I tend to like the main character for whatever reason. It's twitching as if to say, "Plant me this instant." Do it. Plant this seed. I'm trying to remember what all characters there were, though. I remember Sage specifically, but I don't remember all the other ones. I mean, there was the green one, there was the, kind of the chunky orange guy. Do you know he was Wasn't voiced... Wasn't there a blue one? Yeah, there was a blue one. Did you know the guy who did the voice for the orange guy was, uh... He was an actor... We'll always enjoy freedom, so let's jam it in the ground and put a foot of dirt over it so it can't do anything. That's kind of the point. It's like she collects beans because they... They're, they're free to go wherever they want, but the fact that, you know, a seed needs to be planted to grow. <laughs> she, she specifically tells you not what to do, not put the stuff <laughs> together like that, and it's like, oh, okay, I won't do that. Uh, Lady the, the, orange, the orange guy was voiced by uh, the deputy that worked with that one detective off of Monk. Hmm. I looked at that and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. And Lady Bo's still just floating there going like, Yeah, no, I'm pretty great. Oh no, a log. Whatever will we do? Oh man, that was a heck of a camera angle there. Zap! Oh no! We just wanted to give you free food. What's your problem? I swear they're saying specifically you're supposed to throw down there for him to, like, react. But, uh... Honey. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, we only have the two things, though. No, it's... he's. He, I think he wants one of the berries, so maybe we throw down specific ones mm -hmm. and get something out of it, but... I can't recall, so I don't care right now. Oh, man, we got a red berry. Red berry. 
bananas. Oh, Man, why already. did you respawn? What's wrong with you? Ugh. Get the crap out of here. Gonna hit this tree. Then I'm gonna hit this tree. And then run. Ugh. That's what I get for hating trees and their ability to talk when they're not supposed to. Okay, now we did, out of all of that, we did get the red berry. Yeah, so now we need to go find that yeah, red one. Yeah, there's gotta be a dude somewhere that wants a red berry. Can't do the little, like, slide behind him thing like before. I think they placed that, like, a pixel too far back. It's like the texture's trying its hardest, but... This is a puzzle we have to do later, because we need a specific partner for it. But we don't have that partner right now. <gasps> this game's got a lot of partners in it. And it gives you very little chance to, like, give them genuine screen time. I know. A, a Thousand Year Door did that a lot better. Like, we're gonna have eight partners by the end of this game. And once we finish a chapter with them, that's kinda... It's just uh, bubble Okay, because you make bubbles? We don't have a bubble berry, so we can't give you a bubble berry. Alrighty then. Bubble, 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 bubble. Uh, wasn't this guy blue? Yeah, he was blue. And the one down to that way was uh, yellow, so this one should be red. Wingo. Yay. Hey, how you doing? Hello, stranger. I have a giant wide mouth. <laughs> and a permanent frown with a stuck out chin. Just going, mmm, all day. Well, he is a flower, so... Bunch chomp smack. That's, uh... I'm scared of I like of how they now, give flower. you that, that pudding thing for it, so... I'm scared of you now, flower. Because where's, I watched you eat where's something. Where's this other gate connected to? I mean, that one could be connected to the wall, but unless there's a wall over here, we're not seeing because we need to. Maybe there's, like, a vertical rod sticking out of the ground. Zap! Oh, he hit me somehow! Oh, we've actually got a new enemy in this one. Yes, we do. Not only do we have the buzzaps, which are a dick, but we've got a little cloud. We got Rough Puff. These are basically the minions of the, uh, the boss for this chapter. They float in the air. They're rough. I think they're kind of puff. And then the you get some not that indicative. And then you get some increased defense. Yeah. Also, I think they have an ability to electrify themselves, so Zap Tap's pretty good. Though, unfortunately, that means that Zap Tap won't work on them. As you notice, that it actually hit us, and then it didn't hurt itself, so... Honestly, for this chapter, I'm having a very hard time seeing why I should keep Zap Tap on. 